Yeah, I'm here with Senator Kent Conrad of North Dakota, who uh, is losing not just one colleague, Byron Dorgan from North Dakota, but also Chris Dodd from Connecticut. I want to ask you, with these two losses, but particularly with Chris Dodd's loss as a chairman of the Banking Committee, what does this mean for regulatory reform, a major priority of that committee? You know, I don't think it will affect regulatory reform. I don't think it will affect it much at all. Really? Because Senator Dodd already has a package that's ready to move, and Senator Dodd will continue to preside over the committee. So I don't think it will affect regulatory reform at all. But you have a chairman who will be a lame duck, uh, maybe a little more freedom to negotiate since he's not running for re-election? Yeah, the thing it will do, it will free up Senator Dodd to spend more time on regulatory reform. That may be the one effect it does have, is that he won't be distracted with the campaign. He'll be able to focus like a laser on these reforms that are really so essential to the country. And we have seen uh, close votes, so many close votes in the Senate, two Democratic seats, two very important seats. What does this mean for the future of the Democrats to hold the Senate in 2010? You know, if you look historically, the election after a party has a big victory like we did uh, in 2008 is, uh, or 2010 is usually uh, 2010, you'd expect that there would be losses on the majority side. That's what history shows us. On the other hand, uh, we also see that Democrats are having a very strong field. We've got a lot of good candidates in the open seat races. So I think it's yet to be determined. What's going to happen with the economy during this year? What's going to happen to unemployment? What's going to happen to economic growth? I think those will determine the election outcome. Well, also, of course, we have health care hanging in the balance. You sit on the Finance yes. Committee. You were part of those negotiations. Do you think the House is willing to essentially go along with what you all put out there? Uh, they know you have a squeaking, uh, squeak, a razor thin margin on your, on your side. No, I think there will be a negotiation and that there will be compromises. There are things in the House bill that are superior to things that are in the Senate bill. Those things will hopefully be adopted in the final package. But in terms of the overall dimensions of the plan, I think it's going to have to be very close to the Senate package where you can see we won't get 60 votes. It's that simple. Very quickly, compromise on the Medicare payroll tax? Um, I think there'll be some kind of a compromise there. Yeah. Senator, thank you very much.